Hey there, how's it going? And welcome back to the channel. If you're brand new to the channel, I feel like subscribing, please do so. I'd love to have you over here. Let's go ahead and get straight to the point of why you're here, right? It's a replay editor and maybe how to use it or where to find the replays and things like that for ready or not. If you just want to get to your replays, it is on the main menu right here that you'd click on continue single player multiplayer right down here to replays. You see that button right there? Click on that. Now, the biggest problem is, is that the replay editor stopped working for me probably about a month and a half ago or ready or not. And the reason why they did that is because they had an update and I probably just didn't read the notes or something like that is that they have it off by default now and storing them in a folder and it's been eating up people's disk space. So now they have it off by default. So if you look at mine, mine ended around February 6th. So right around there, I've been playing about maybe twice a week or something like that. So right around February is when they had this update. I couldn't figure out why my replays were not being recorded anymore. Well, the reason why is because they took it out in a recent update. So what you have to do is go to your main uh, menu right here. Go to options right here. See that? And when you click on options, you're going to see gameplay. Uh, scroll down until you get to your replays right there. And see it is off by default now. So make sure you enable that. Uh, now it will start recording all of your missions and then you can start using the editor. So let's talk a little bit about the replay editor. I don't want to make the video too complicated, but if you go to your main menu right here, click on replace right there on the main menu. Then uh, if you notice at the very bottom, I've got a bunch of replays. And you'll notice a warning message if I click on an old one. It says, warning, uh, this replay was made with an older version of the game. It may not work properly. So uh, I had an update since then, uh, but the I uh, did not have the replay editor, uh, you know, enabled within the options menu. But here's one that I just recorded uh, today, uh, about an hour ago. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, just click once and click on play. And it's going to take a, uh, about a minute and a half or so, two minutes, depending on how fast your PC is and how much replay footage there is to show. So it's automatically going to start playing. Uh, go ahead and press pause and uh, you could uh, start moving it around. Now I use a mouse and keyboard for most FPS type games, but I'm sure you guys can figure it out if a controller is available to move this stuff around. So we can move forward with the W key, S for the backwards key, uh, A to the left, uh, D to the right. Now to move it around free cam mode, it, it would look like you could do that, but I found the best way to do this is to left click or you could right click, it doesn't really matter. And you can move this around really where you need to. And to move the camera up, you can press the space bar, which is kind of cool if you need to go, get up really fast. I like to usually use the right click for some reason. And then if you notice that you're, uh, you know, that it's not moving fast enough for you. Okay, what you could do is come over to the very bottom of the screen, uh, the camera. You could do the uh, look sensitivity. I'd probably increase that just slightly. Uh, maybe 1.5 would be good. And then that way you can move around a little bit faster. You can position this a little bit right down here, for example. You could also back up the replay just a, just a slight bit. I wouldn't go crazy with it, but just kind of tap it and uh, your team will back up a little bit. And then you could also right click just like this and then we can have uh, some more freedom of pressing on other buttons. And you want to get that off the screen, press the camera. You could also go to lens and then increase the field of view. If you move it to the right, you're going to zoom out. If you move it to the left, you're going to zoom in a little bit. I wouldn't worry about aperture that has to do with blur and it's really not a good setting for that to be honest but i would position the camera maybe about like right here for example and then when you get ready uh, you can also do like i said the lens zoom it out a little bit more in whichever you prefer and then if you get a good shot uh, this is not just for a screenshot by the way uh right click again uh take this off of the screen right here the film you could change which is kind of cool you can saturate it a little bit give it some more color uh, some more contrast add a little bit more darkness uh, gamma is going to increase the brightness decreasing adds more darkness and then uh the slope if you want to call it that uh pretty much the same thing and you can mess with these other ones uh, they really you can go crazy with all these settings if you're not happy with any of them start clicking on the disable button right here and it'll disable all those settings that you just did just kind of click on all those and it'll get back to where you need to uh, to get good cinematic screenshots or to get a good cinematic view uh it's not always good just to be you know eye level you know, like this. It's uh, the, you know, you've seen those guys, those Tarantino movies, right? And to get the UI off the screen, I just click any, anywhere in here and just press the H key, the H key, and it'll take it off. Then what I like to do personally is uh, press the H key again to get the UI back on there. We'll back it up just a little bit more. We're gonna press the play, and then we're gonna press H. So press play, click one time, press H. He's firing from inside this point of view through the glass. And you could even slow this down too, by the way. Uh, look at the very bottom of my UI. If we were to take this down 
to a 0 0.05. Uh, that's going to look really cool. So watch this. Right click. Press the H key. Okay, here comes the door. You can kind of do a, a cinematic shot like this, like going through here, really like slow motion. Uh, some people, uh, they don't understand the really good use of the replay editor. Uh, it's not always about screenshots and, you know, getting that really good, you know, content footage like on um, YouTube or whatnot. Uh, it can actually be used for different tactics. You know, if you got a SWAT team, uh, some guys that you play with, you know, multiplayer or whatnot, or maybe you're doing a co-op mission, uh, some things you can work on, uh, different team tactics and stuff like that, just to get a better understanding uh, you could replay those footage and say, man, you should have been here. I went, uh, you know, I should have been over here. I should have thrown, you know, a flashbang here. And we should have mirrored the door uh, for, for the trap because you can see the by the replay editor. You can see it right there. So you can probably get an idea as to how the replay editor can come into use and how it can be kind of useful uh, besides just getting those really good epic screenshots. Now, those are just some basic functions you could do with the replay editor. Uh, you could position your camera at different angles, obviously, like I kind of went over. Uh, to get a good screenshot, uh, you know, there's always Steam, for example. You could, uh, for default, I think it's F12, right? I don't take a picture like that. Now, personally, I like to take these screenshots with the uh, Xbox Game Bar. I think that's what that's called. Uh, so I would take it like this, for example, get rid of this. Uh, press the H key to get rid of the HUD. And then kind of move it around a little bit. Yeah, you know, this is just an example, just something really brief. So say like right there. And then I'm going to press the uh, window key plus the G key. And uh, it'll come up like this. And then you can take a couple of pictures like this and then it gets stored right there. I can open the picture in another folder, maybe Photoshop. And of course, we know with Photoshop, you can let your imagination go wild like this. And just kind of be creative, you know, with your screenshots before, after. Now it's been running a little bit. Now that's with screenshots. But what about uh, screen recording, right? Now, personally, I have an NVIDIA card, so I use NVIDIA GeForce Experience. And let's go to settings, for example. Uh, turn on in-game overlay. You can do screenshots with that as well. Here's the recording. You can record microphone. You can even include webcam if you want. You can also record through OBS. There's a lot of things you could do, you know, to record your screen. I'll give you some links down below if you want to record some gameplay footage to get those really good cinematic effects. Some of them will be free. Some of them you'll probably have to pay for. And some of them come with your graphics card. So remember that if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. Think about using NVIDIA GeForce Experience. If you just want to use OBS, you can record that too. If you got any use out of today's video, be sure to hit the like button and then leave a comment down below. It could be about anything. You know how the YouTube algorithms are out there. Really appreciate it. If I earned your subscription, think about subscribing. I'd love to have you over here. Take care and I'll see you in the next patrol. Stay safe.